welcome to my channel. My name is Kimberlyn and you're watching Storybus, the home of fun stories. Today, we are going to be reading the story about the goose that laid golden eggs. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification to let you know whenever I post any new video. So, without further ado, let's dive into the story. Deep in the woods lived a man and his wife called Mr. and Mrs. Harold. They lived in an ancient little cottage. It was so tumbled down and it looked like it was going back into the ground. With ivy and crushing the walls, flowers sprouted out of the roof and mice ran in and out of the door. Inside, on a straw covered floor, a snow white goose sat cackling away as she laid an egg. Suddenly, Mr. Harold ran into the room. At last, he cried, we can have our supper. His wife quickly brought the frying pan and placed it over the fire. Mr. Harold slid his hand under the goose's soft and fluffy down. His fingers closed up to something cold and hard. A stone, he sighed as he pulled it out. The object was shaped like an egg, only heavier and harder. What is it? asked his wife. I don't know, Mr. Harrod replied, carrying it over to where a ray of sunlight came streaming in through a hole of the roof. The object glittered. They gasped. It couldn't be, said his wife. It is. It really is, cried Mr. Harold. Gold! They both shouted gleefully together. A golden egg! But how? asked the man. He looked from the shiny sparkling egg and at their little white goose in wonder. Never mind how, muttered his wife. You must go straight to the market this morning and sell it. We're going to be rich. Rich! And soon they began to dance around the room, singing and laughing for joy. At the first light at dawn, the man set out through the woods, the eggs in his pocket, humming a giddy tune. He wandered through the hustle and the bustle of the market until he found what he wanted, a rickety stall with a, with a large set of scales. An old man sat behind the counter calling, Get money for your gold! I'll give you the best price. I'll take necklaces, bracelets and goblets. How much money could I get for this? Gingerly taking out the golden egg from his pocket and placing it on the scales. The old man raised his eyebrows. He picked up his magnifying glass. Remarkable, he said, studying it closely. Pure gold, and it's been made to look exactly like an egg. I've never seen anything like it. He pulled out bag after bag of coins and handed them to the man. In an instant, Mr. Howard drifted from store to store, buying everything he wanted and lost a lot of things he didn't, just because he could. He bought dresses for his wife, a fine tooth for himself, jewels, flowers, furniture and food. He bought so much that there was no way he could carry it all. He spent the last of his money on a donkey and a cart, loaded up his goods and went home in triumph. His wife was delighted. She tried on dress after dress after dress, twirling around as she admired herself in their new glit mirror. They sat down together and gorged themselves on the delicious quail eggs, caviar, fine wines and exotic fruit. But as the meal drew to a close, Mrs. Harold sighed with disappointment. I want more, she said hungrily. More food? asked Mr. Harold in amazement, thinking about all they've eaten. No, more money, said his wife, her eyes glinting. I want enough money to live in a fine house and eat like this forever. I want to sleep on silken sheets, eat from golden plates and have juice dripping from my fingers. They both looked at their goose, hopefully. She began to cackle. They froze, hardly daring to breathe. Did she? Could she have? The woman wondered. With trembling hands, Mr. Harold reached under the goose and his heart sank once more as he felt the cold hard shape of a golden egg. After that, the goose laid a new golden egg each day. Mr. Harold and his wife grew very rich and fat. They left their little cottage and bought a grand house. 
and many great things as they could fit in it. They had sevens by the dozen thick velvet carpets, fountains in the garden, studded with jewels. But the more they had, the more they wanted. I need a team of 20 white horses pulling a lime silk carriage, said the woman. And I'm bored with all my dresses. I want to buy some more this minute. But our goose only lays one egg each day, said Mr. Harold. And the money trickles away like water. We spend it as soon as we get it. You'll just have to wait for the goose to lay more golden eggs. His wife went outside to the shed where they now kept their goose. A heavy lock hung from the door. But inside, the goose had been given every luxury Satan cushions to sit on, fresh straw every day, and curtains on the windows. The woman took a good look at the goose, smiling and patting her on the head. But all this time she was thinking, I'm sure that goose is full with gold. It must be sitting in her belly, great big goblets of it. If we cut her open, we get all the gold at once. That night, she told her husband her plan. Let's go now while she's asleep. We'll cut her open and grab all the gold. She won't feel a thing. And we'll never have to wait for her to lay another golden egg. What a brilliant idea, agreed Mr. Harold. And they crept out into the night. They unlocked the goose's door and quickly cut her open. The woman then let out an angry scream. There was no gold inside the goose, just meat and bone like any other bird. What will we do now? She asked in horror, looking at the sorry remains of their little white goose. But there was nothing they could do. With no goose, they had no more golden eggs. And with no golden eggs, they had no more money to buy things. First, their servants had to go, and all their five things, jewels, furniture, even the paintings on the walls were sold. Then the house itself had to be sold. And soon, Mr. Harold and his wife had nowhere else to go but their little tumble-down cottage in the woods. The woman kept her dresses, but they grew shabby and ragged. Soon, all they had to remind them of the riches was the empty space on the cottage floor where the little white goose had once sat and laid her magical golden eggs. The end. The moral of today's story is to be happy with what you have. This means we need to learn to be content with what we have and not be greedy. Bye guys, hope you enjoyed today's story. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification button and I will see you on the next video.